Hello and welcome to Indian Drives. My name is Yash and in this video, we bring you this week's news from our automotive industry. Before we begin with this week's news roundup, do click the bell button and do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on our daily uploads. Audi India launches the Q5 with a new refreshed look. The new Audi Q5 is launched at Rs 58.93 lakhs for the Premium Plus variant and 63.77 lakh for the top end technology variant. The Q5 is now only offered with a petrol engine and the best selling 2 litre TDI diesel engine is no more an option in the SUV. The Q5 gets the same 2 litre TFSI petrol engine that is being used in the ongoing Audi A6. The engine has been tuned to deliver 249 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. The traction from the Quattro's all-wheel drive system helps the Q5 clock a 0 to 100 time in 6.3 seconds. The Q5 can also clock a top speed of 237 km an hour, which is quite impressive for an SUV. The ride quality is said to be better than before as the suspension system now comes with the damper control to adjust itself according to the road conditions. The 2021 Q5 is refreshed with new redesigned bumpers and 19-inch S-line wheels to keep up with the sportiness of the S in the SUV nomenclature. The Q5 comes with attractive new features like Audi Park Assist, comfort key with sensor-controlled boot operation, wireless mobile charging, virtual cockpit and a Bang & Olufsen premium 3D surround system. The 10.1-inch touch MMI infotainment system will be integrated with navigation and Audi smartphone interface offering few connected CarTech features. The German build quality and safety comes assuring with the Q5 getting 8 airbags around the cabin to enhance the safety of all the passengers. The all-new Kia Niro debuts at 2021 Seoul Mobility Show. The Kia Niro is a hybrid electric vehicle which has been in production for the global market. The new generation of the EV is expected to launch in India by 2023 to increase the brand's presence in the EV segment. The new Niro will come with a green zone drive mode which automatically transfers the hybrid electronic vehicle powertrain into purely electric vehicle drive mode. The new Niro will come with a green zone drive mode which automatically transfers the hybrid powertrain into pure EV drive mode to meet the demand for sustainable mobility solutions. The Kia Niro will automatically deduct green zones like residential areas, schools or hospitals and use this feature. The all-new Niro is currently on display at the Seoul Mobility Show from November 25 to December 5 and it will be available with hybrid powertrains and pure electric powertrains starting from next year. Volkswagen starts production of 2021 Tiguan in India. The new Tiguan will be the fourth SUV launch from the Volkswagen brand in India. The Tiguan was earlier brought to India as a CBU unit, but Volkswagen has started production of the Tiguan at their Aurangabad plant. The Tiguan is architectured on the MQB platform and is offered with Volkswagen's 4-motion all-wheel drive system. The Tiguan will be powered by a 2-litre TSI turbocharged petrol engine which will be paired with a 7-speed DSG transmission for a sporty driving experience. Prospective buyers can register their interest for the Tiguan across the Volkswagen dealerships or their website. MG Motor India becomes first passenger car company to adopt hybrid solar energy in India. MG Motor India becomes first passenger car company to adopt wind solar hybrid energy. MG Motor India has partnered with CleanMax Enviro Energy for the supply of 4.85 MW of wind solar hybrid power to MG's manufacturing facility in Halol, Gujarat. With 50% of their power requirements being fulfilled with hybrid energy, the brand will reduce their production cost and CO2 emissions. MG says that they will approximately save 2 lakhs metric ton of CO2 emissions over 15 years, which is equivalent of planting 13 lakh trees. On this initiative, MG Motor also said that they are committed towards a sustainable future laying emphasis on launching zero-emission electric vehicles and are taking a step towards a clean manufacturing ecosystem to reduce carbon emissions. MG will start using these hybrid energy resources from February 2022. Hyundai Ioniq 5 becomes the German car of the year. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 was launched as a fully electric CUV in the German automotive market six months ago. And in such a short period of time, it has managed to claim the German Car of the Year award. The Ioniq 5 is built on Hyundai's global modular platform for the EV, the EGMP platform. 
It is offered in two battery pack options, a 58 kilowatt hour and 72.6 kilowatt hour. With these batteries, the EV claims to have a driving range of 481 kilometers. The Ionic 5 supports fast charging with its 800 volt fast charging technology. At a fast charging station, the battery can charge from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. Hyundai is expected to bring the Ionic 5 to India, but it will not have a wallet friendly price tag since it will be a direct import. If you like our content, do like this video as it really makes a difference to us and motivates us to bring you new content every day.